we're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room. If a GP isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnosis. You trying to tell me the doctor that spends a week in the toilet isn't reliable for full diagnosis? I refuse to believe it. What's up guys, welcome to Two Point Hospital, a game where a lot of people are gonna die. Figured I'd just set expectations now. I don't know whose bright idea it was to give $200,000 and this much empty hospital to a first time administrator. Like, I have no sweet clue what I'm doing. Reception. The first thing the hospital will need is a reception. Patients will head here when they arrive at the hospital. Let's build a reception desk near the entrance. I'm a big fan of how they circle and then draw a giant red arrow pointing towards what you need to buy. <laughs> Much appreciated there, tiny tutorial man. Are you okay? Did you guys see that? Are you sick? Is that why I'm building this hospital? That's not usually how hospitals work. You, no, I, I know I should be building the hospital, but where is he going? Oh, there he is. Just a little peekaboo with your investment. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just gonna build your reception desk. Wait, did he say that he wanted that by the front entrance? Whoops. We need to hire, and I've been trying to say this for like minutes now, we need to hire an assistant to fill the position and clearly we're going with Roger McBoatface. I don't even care what the other positions are. Are you kidding me right now, Roger? How are you not employed somewhere else with the last name McBoatface? General Practitioner's Office. Great, before we officially open, we'll need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. The GP will assess patients and decide if they are ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. Let's build a GP's office now. Would it be too much to ask that we had Mr. McBoatface run every aspect of this hospital? I feel like he deserves a PhD in one way or another. <laughs> I'm guessing we need to hire a doctor now. Doctor whom? Excellent. Now we'll need a doctor to run the GP's office. Hire one now. Roger, do you have like a brother or sister? You clearly have a mother Stop or father. To wear the clothes assigned to them. Listen, I'll wear whatever clothes I want, lady. Who said that? Mr. McBoatface, I don't mean to cause any panic, but I think we have an intercom ghost. We have Neum Lion, funny, tires easily, likes to take the stairs. Emma Hogwash, nausea inducing, loves to chew. And Clary Poodle, positive and hoards cutlery. Wow, these are all just awful. Can I hire a janitor to work as a doctor? Yeah, we have Ingrid Phoenix. <laughs> no, don't point away from Ingrid Phoenix. Stop okay. For the last time, intercom ghost, I wear what I want. I don't care what you guys say, I'm having a janitor work as the doctor. $812 well spent, now you get to work. No, no, don't you leave to clean up stuff. <sighs> Wait a minute, I can reject job applications. What if I just, oh my God, I need to wait 18 days for a new application? <gasps> Why didn't you mention anything? Roger, this is your fault. Okay, you set the bar way too high on funny names. I couldn't resist. Now we have to go two weeks of not earning any money because apparently this is a for-profit haunted hospital. I did not sign up to play the name game lottery, but we have people showing up to the hospital and leaving. We get uh, Jasper Burke. All right, Jasper, it'll have to do. You don't have a great last name, but will work for peanuts and has an elegant bag. I thought that said an elephant bag for a second, which tied into the peanuts. I don't want to know how elegant your testicles are, okay? <laughs> Just get in there now. Uh, ma'am, hospital's open. We're, good news, our hospital is now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive. After they register a reception, they'll be sent the GP for diagnosis. How about this for a diagnosis? I'm pretty sure this lady's lost because she's been roaming around the giant empty hospital doing nothing for a month. I don't really know how to help her. Oh, we've got more people showing up. And you need something. What do we need? Pharmacy required. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. Grout? All right, Jasper, you know what? You're the doctor, but I'm pretty sure that's supposed to say gout and not grout. We'll build ourselves a pharmacy. There we go. 
I just launched that man out of the ceiling. My bad. <laughs> don't sneeze all over the place. Oh, we got a line. I probably need somebody to work here, don't I? Nurse, please go to the pharmacy. I'm working on it, okay? We have Brangelina Vacuum. <laughs> Done. Hangry, a natural mentor, high energy, and appreciates wallpaper. Beautiful. <laughs> so, how exactly does the pharmacy work? I would assume that you're gonna do your job now. Usually people would just come in and be given pills. They wouldn't have to watch the pills being made. Yeah, we do things a little different around here. Very homegrown, artisanal. There we go. Yeah, just pop those in your mouth and good as new, $5,000. We did it. Patient cured, well done. We've cured our first patient. We've earned some money and the hospital's reputation is improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Does the last name count? If they have a funny name, does that help at all? Because I am not checking skills. Next up on our to hire list is a janitor. We can choose between Bruce Fast or Stephanie Transformer. Oh wait, Bruce Fast has the ghost capture ability. Allows a janitor to detect and capture ghosts. I was being sarcastic. Do we actually have a ghost? Ooh, this is a tough call. Last name, Transformer. Ability to get rid of our haunting. I gotta go with last name, Transformer. That is just too perfect. Mr. McBoatface? Why are you talking to a skull and not at your position? I'm confused right now. What is he doing? What is his mood? Oh, he's a little hungry. Do we need food and stuff like that? This is a hospital, not a cafeteria. Turns out I'm the idiot. That random woman that was roaming around and refused to get checked out. She was my janitor. I forgot that I hired Ingrid Phoenix. Okay, I'm a very busy hospital administrator. I, I can't be responsible for every little thing. And look who got back to work after buying something out of my vending machine. <laughs> That's all I needed to do. No, not you two. Where are you going? Yeah, get back to work. Stop fighting with doors. My staff are really starting to piss me off. Okay, they don't want to work. They want to have breaks. They need to have a staff room. They want to have bathrooms to drop their little deuces in. All the while, I'm still paying them. You best believe that we're gonna get it back one way or another. Just you wait. First, we're gonna launch her into space. <laughs> then I have the perfect idea. You, you guys wanna take breaks, right? You want your cheesy gubbins and your burps? Well, then you better believe you're gonna pay for it. 100% markup. This is what our hospital goers have to deal with because of you. We're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room. If a GP isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnosis. You trying to tell me the doctor that spends a week in the toilet isn't reliable for full diagnosis? I refuse to believe it. Listen, I'll build it anyway. I'm sure we can use it as some kind of tax write-off, right? It'll be full of big fancy equipment and everybody will believe what we tell them. Now, who is supposed to man this? Because we get to hire someone else. Oh my God, we can get Isabel McBoatface. <laughs> he does have a sister. Oh no, she's a doctor. With a sassy photo like that, I don't even care. We're gonna hire her anyway. We'll just drop her in here and they can fight over the position. <laughs> you guys love taking breaks, okay? I'm sure one of you won't be working at a certain moment in time. Now, we need to buy a nurse. We have Spencer Fluster, Carrie Leotard, and Spencer Thumper. What's what all the Spencers? What we got here, you look like a nerd. You look the same. Okay, yeah, you got the confidence, you're hired. <laughs> now do some diagnosing. My staff really needs to stop living off of vending machine food. It's not good for your insides. Apparently not having stuff like sinks and hand dryers is really affecting my hospital's reputation, so I suppose we could go ahead and do that. You can throw a garbage bin in there. You see, guys, I'm actually trying. We're gonna get there. I'm sure somebody's gonna die sooner than later. Will you stop dancing? I spent good money to hire you, Mr. Thumper. <laughs> you, you should not have lice right now. What do these people want? They need, oh, further diagnosis. Yeah, you're supposed to be giving him diagnosis, but instead he's roaming around. Why? If 
people are going to be staying in our ward for a long time, they had... Oh, I can see her little butt cheeks. <laughs> they had better be spending good money, okay? This is a hospital, not a hotel. Hotels don't have bedpans. Oh, dear God. What is this person's problem? Yeah, that's a pretty easy diagnosis. He seems to have a really good idea. <laughs> How do I help this person? We're gonna treat that, we need a deluxe clinic. I'm sure this will be perfectly well equipped to handle light bulb headedness. Now, who works in this place? I, I know, okay, I have a lot of people working everywhere and nobody's actually doing their job, but just help me out here. Who works in this place? I'm sorry, Mr. Lightbulb Man. I'm trying to figure that out. It's probably a nurse. Doctor. Doctor required. Ooh. Been a while since we've hired a doctor. We can get Amy Burp, Carl Pugwash, or Charlotte Dynamite. Ooh, that's kind of badass. We're going to go with Amy Burp. I feel like she would be well equipped to handle all the lightbulb people. Okay, we're open for business, lightheaded folks. Line up. Reducing prices a bit would help to improve our hospital reputation. Yes, I know, and I'm gonna continue to ignore you. He says that like every three or four minutes, as if I care. <laughs> I'm just trying to get these people to move. I don't want them buying vending machine stuff. I want them getting cured and getting the hell out. Finally, here we go. This should be quick and painless. We're just go, um, not quite what I had in mind. That's concerning, to say the least. Why do we have spare heads? Oh, it's a lady. Would have never guessed. Very feminine figure on you. Okay, well then, I'll uh, I'll see you later, Stella Green. I'm concerned what do we do with the light bulbs after we're done with them? We had better be plugging those into lights, okay? We need to save every penny we can. All my doctors are constantly twitching and itching and dancing. I think they might be catching something. Oh, that's probably not good. Oh, tits. Um. Qualify janitor to combat ghost, please. Yeah, do we have a janitor for that? Oh, no, not that janitor. Okay, well, we have a janitor that's willing to clean up the ghost jism, but she won't get rid of it. What are you guys doing out here in the empty part of the hospital playing with the ghost? I don't understand how to get rid of it. I'm just gonna hire another janitor. You know what, we probably have another, there we go. Randy Larder, it's your lucky day. We desperately need a Ghostbuster. There you are, uh, do your job. $824, you better bust that ghost. Yes. <laughs> exactly what I hired you to do. <laughs> Captured Charlotte Larder. Wait a minute, did he just capture his wife? Out of curiosity, I decided to check in on some of our patients, and this is Mickey Bog. Mickey has been here for 211 days. <laughs> he is only just now getting into the ward. Ooh, yearly awards? What? Are we up for awards? I don't deserve any of this. Yeah, we really messed out on that No Deaths Award. I am dumbfounded that we got Doctor of the Year and Nurse of the Year. Who did we have to drug to win this? I don't understand. You just removed this guy's light bulb and now, oh, the treatment failed. We didn't successfully treat him for lightheadedness and there he goes. Okay. <laughs> Well, she seems to be having a great day, so we're like 50-50 on people not coming back as a ghost. Good. This guy literally just killed somebody and he has the balls to ask for a promotion. Okay, you know what? Sure, why not? And we're clearly gonna give Mr. Boatface a big fat promotion. There we go. Money is no object when it comes to amazing last names. Can you please have this one survive for the love of God? She gets earrings, he gets earrings, she gets earrings. And success. <gasps> what did I do? Dear hospital administrator, one star hospital, congratulations. Your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. That's one out of a possible three by the two point health ministry. I have retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets if you believe that you're capable of more. Alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. The choice, as they say, is yours. Yours 
fragrantly Arkeen Foxbridge, Health Minister. I don't know about you guys, but what I hear is that we've built the perfect hospital. But ignore the one out of three stars. We have the greatest diet for our staff. We have just enough ghost-busting janitors. And we've cured every disease in the area. And I'm pretty sure we've seen and done everything that there is to do in this neighborhood. But I would like to move on and open a new hospital because I know that there are even more crazy, ridiculous diseases in this game. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know. I would love to return for more Two Point Hospital. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.